guys, welcome back to day six of the 25 boxes of Christmas. As you can see, I have moved my camera closer because I was just so far away in the last five that I did. If you didn't know, I film my content usually in batches, so four or five. And if you missed the first five, I will have a playlist linked in the description box so that you can go back and check them out. As well as the playlist is on my channel page. If you just scroll down, once you get to my channel page, you'll see it. I have it right at the top. I don't even know how much of the presents you can see in the shot because I have it so close, but I do have them rearranged differently because after I get done filming in batches, I have to pick all these presents up and move them into the study where they're safe so the dogs don't go potty on them. Apparently they haven't learned Christmas etiquette yet where you're not supposed to pee on the presents. Let's start off with this one. Ooh. I haven't opened very many with the light bulb presents on it and I have so many left that I wanna do this one. Let's start day six off with a nice big one. It's not very heavy. So whatever is in it, it's gotta be light. I see a packing label. This subscription box did not come in a fancy packaging, but it is the subscription Nomadic. So let's go check it out. Day six, Nomadic. If you haven't heard of Nomadic, it's a camping slash survival gear type subscription. So if you have someone that loves the outdoors, who's really into getting survival stuff, like this may be a good subscription. It's different than the Tack Pack one that my husband gets that I review every now and then. That one's more geared towards survival gear slash gun gear that kind of thing. This one is more camping, survival, stuff like that. I actually only got a one-time box when I signed up to get it because I didn't want to have to remember to cancel so many subscriptions. I paid $37.49 for this one-time box. It was on sale. I can't remember exactly. I want to say it was close to $50 before sale. And then I did have to pay $6.99 shipping. If you want to get the actual subscription, the plans start at $29.99 and you're guaranteed at least a $50 plus retail value so it's not a very big upgrade in the value compared to price but hopefully the products are really good and you're also guaranteed three to seven full-size items I'm curious about this box now it's totally possible that they have a nice decorated outside subscription box but because I just purchased a one-time box I think that's why mine is different Okay, so I do have a nomadic envelope in here and a couple of extra items. I'm gonna start with the items that are left in that box first. And this one is a solar inflatable light. I actually have something like this. I don't know if it's from the same brand. This is from Lucy. It's a flameless flicker and you just blow it up and make sure that this has contact with the sun and that way you can powered on at night. That's great for camping, great for outdoors. Let me see if the one I have still has solar power because I moved it from the window. Turns out it is the same brand. I don't even remember where I got this, but it's really cool. You just blow it up. It is the Lucy brand. It doesn't have power on it right now because I moved it from the window. I'll set it back in front of the window and that way I can show a video overlay of what it looks like. This one actually, it can be regular light or it'll blink a regular light and then it can also do red and then I think a blinking red as well. So I don't know if this one does the same thing. Wick free, candle free, flame free. Candles have officially been reinvented. So this one looks like it's going to be a little bit different design style than the one I already have. Solar powered, long lasting with a soft amber glow. So this one may not change colors like the other one does. These are really great. Like I said, I already have one. I've already used them. Great brand. Next. Next, there is this Rain's Drip Drip Drip. This looks like a bag and the outside of it feels like it's waterproof, like the water would just slide right off of it instead of soaking into it. So I wanna say that that's what this is, some kind of waterproof bag. Also great for camping or the outdoors. Keep your stuff safe from the wet. Last thing that was in the box that wasn't in here and it says Binkai, seems like another 
pouch type thing. It looks like a fanny pack. It has a zipper pouch in the front here. It doesn't feel quite like this one though. Just a good size pouch that you can attach to you. You can be more hands-free when you're out there, whatever it is that you may be out there doing. And the last thing came in this nomadic envelope. Oh, okay. Look at that, we have a drop point knife. Looks like it has this knife with a little case to help protect it, I guess, awesome. Oh, it also has a glass breaker, a bottle opener, and a hair cord slot, whatever that means. Field tested, multi-purpose, and packable. I'll have to give this to my husband. He might want to take it when he goes out hunting. I know he got like a really awesome knife in his Tack Pack subscription box, but now he can add another one to his collection. And is there anything else in here? There's this Bug Bite Balm. Oh, he would really love this. Itch Relief Cream. For some reason, the insects, the mosquitoes, they just love to bite him. Sometimes we'll be outside just hanging out with the kids or with the family and he'll get all these bites all over him and I barely get bit at all. It's like they're attracted to his blood. He will really appreciate this itch cream. I do wish the box hadn't been all ripped up. That's kind of a bummer, but the tube itself is in good condition. And is there anything else in here? Not sure what this is. Some kind of clip. Oh, it has a compass on it. Oh. That's cool. Exploria Emergency Bracelet. Wow, this stuff has a lot of cool stuff in it. I'm gonna have to give some of this to my husband for Christmas. It's a good thing he doesn't watch most of my videos. This is cool. And it has a little tiny compass right there. Yes, this would be great for him to wear whenever he's out there hunting and exploring the world. This is like a new hobby that he's just got into so we definitely need the gear and then this is a survival fire starter very cool this is like one of the things you see on naked and afraid if you ever watch that tv series and they're only allowed to bring one item so many of them choose a fire starter that's also really cool and there is one last thing in here it is a hydrolyte oh it's full of electrolytes so i guess it's similar to the thing i got in my fat bit fun box where you just pour this in water and it helps make sure that you have the electrolytes that you need and that's it, it's empty. I vaguely remember the past box that I got called something like the zombie apocalypse box, which makes sense with a lot of these items. That's very fitting, especially with the knife. I mean, you need a knife if there's zombies running around. But overall, this was a really good box. I think I got a lot of great items here. I have no idea what the retail value of all of them are. They didn't give me a product card, so I'm sorry I can't share that with you. But do you have someone in your family or maybe you yourself who would enjoy getting this box and maybe seeing more from it? Just let me know. I'm gonna pack all this up and let's move to the giveaway. This giveaway is gonna be geared towards some of my fandom type merchandise that I've received in those kind of boxes that I either didn't understand them, didn't watch the series, wasn't a fan of it, or had never seen it. I believe I can open it up internationally. So this, and because fandom type stuff is so specific, I like having these types of items in giveaways where the winner will get to choose. So I think I picked out like 14 or 15 different things in past Loot Crate boxes where they're things that I didn't understand or wasn't going to use and the winner will get to choose seven of those items. Hopefully there's seven items in here that you do understand and you do want. Let's just see what we got. So I do have two shirts to give away. They are size extra large so obviously this is more fitted like if you don't wear this size if you're smaller or if you're bigger then it may not be a good fit for you to choose but they're shirts that I'm not gonna wear so I, I want to give them away this was the always sunny in Philadelphia shirt I'll have it pop up on the screen the other shirt this one I probably could wear I don't watch enough of Avatar the last airbender to really wear it it's also a size extra large. Next thing I'm giving away is this Battlestar Galactica enamel pin. This Planet of the Apes enamel pin. These Arrested Development enamel pin. And these two things are like some kind of Star Trek. I don't even know, but they're a pack. They go together. Also giving away this Mystic Seer button it up like this and it becomes like a little container. I think you're supposed to put this in your car. 
So you can just toss maybe some loose change or something in there. It's like its own version of a trinket tray. This is a Bob's Burgers Tina Torque Bobble. I don't watch Bob's Burgers. I've heard it's really funny, but I don't watch it. So I wanted to share that collectible figurine. And I have a whole nother box. Also, there's this Power Rangers highball glass. I love Power Rangers, but I decided to keep the coasters and gift the glass because I already have so many glasses. I'm also gifting this Big Trouble Little China keychain. Don't even have a clue as to what that even is. Or this. This is like a hairball pencil pouch or makeup pouch. It's Star Trek on the inside of the design. I never watched Star Trek, so that just kind of goes over my head. This is something I did recognize. It is the Wizarding World Death Eater Practice Dummy. It's really cute. I don't really have a place for it, so I'm gonna give it away in this giveaway. This is a alien replica. And the last thing, either bath mat or doormat, however you wanna use it, of the old school arcade game. I thought this was really cool and I almost decided to keep it but the only other place I would use it is where I have my friend's doormat. These are the items that you can choose from. The winner will only get to choose seven. This giveaway is opened up internationally. If you want to enter this giveaway, you must be 18 years or older. It's open worldwide. You must live in a state in the United States that allows a giveaway. And if you are entering into this giveaway internationally, please make sure that you are in a country that allows shipments from the United States, as well as a country that allows these types of products. This one doesn't have any liquids, there's no jewelry. So I don't think I'll have a problem shipping internationally as long as your country is allowing packages from the US. You must be publicly subscribed to my channel and you must use the code word LOOT down in the description box below. Yeah, all of the information will be in the description box below. Giveaway starts today and will go all the way until January 5th. I will announce the winners of all 25 days on January 6th. Make sure that you write down on a sticky note somewhere if you entered into this giveaway, that way you don't forget. That's it for today, guys. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below, and I will be back tomorrow with another unboxing and giveaway. Bye.